Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Justin and you are watching Justin Time Watches. Today we've got a really cool review of a watch that I had my eye on for a while. If you guys haven't been able to tell by the channel, um, I'm a big G-Shock collector. And uh, prior to collecting G-Shocks, I was in your you know Swiss watch industry. I loved Rolex and everything that was really, really hard to get. Um, not just price point wise, but because of the steel craze that was going on and you know, nobody could get a watch. Um, but I started collecting G-Shocks because they're just, they're so cool. They're such a large variety in terms of colorway, in terms of variety. Some are small, most are large. Uh, but at the end of the day, pieces like this are why I really love G-Shock. They are evolving. They are transforming from just your normal $80 square G-Shock into something like this, which retails over $1,000. Some people are gonna look at it and say, that's absolutely insane. Why would you get a digital watch? Why would you spend that much on a digital watch? Um, and hopefully I can sway your perspective a little bit, but let's get into it. For today, a wrist shot check. I am wearing what I will end up reviewing later on, which is a Frogman. Um, just got it today actually and uh, absolutely love it. So this is an OG. This is a Frogman digital, not the uh, analog ones I have today. But for perspective of what we're looking at today, this is a titanium square G-Shock. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at the box first. Um, the box itself is super cool. Best way that I can describe it, it's very shimmery on the outside. Um, I, yeah, there you go. You can see right here on the bottom, you can see that it starts to shimmer a little bit um, in the light. I actually do not have my studio light on. It is simply just the sun in the background. Um, and as you can see on the box, it says shock resistant structure protects the case and bezel from induced shock. So what's really sweet about this, this is the second version of this watch. Um, the first one was black titanium and it had little scriptures written throughout the watch to kind of talk about what each section is and does. Um, and I just thought that was super cool. So I decided I'd pick it up. All right, so I'm not gonna go through the boring stuff. Don't get me wrong, guys, the warranty card's awesome, but you guys are not here for that. You guys are here for this. Uh, so without further ado, you can see it also comes with a little bit of shimmer on the actual box itself. Uh, and on the outside, same exact saying, same exact uh, statement, honing in on the G-Shock. And there it is. This is your G-Shock Square Titanium. And let's go ahead and pull this out. Now this is obviously, you know, like I said, not for everybody. Some people are gonna look at this and say, oh, that's an awesome watch. What's the price point? They hear the price point, they're gone. Um, it's a little dirty, so this is not new. I have worn this, um, so please forgive me if there's any smudges on it, um, but it's, it's really cool. You do get your, um, it is not a mineral crystal on this. You actually get a sapphire crystal on this. Um, you've got your full titanium piece. It is literally 100% titanium. And the really sweet part, and I have a couple of the metal um, G's, the case back is also titanium. And it kind of tells you that made in Japan, 200 meters of water resistance as 99.9% .9 of all G-Shocks have. Uh, but just the colorway, I mean, look at this thing. It is so cool. And each link, I'm gonna see if I can catch it for you. Uh, each link is numbered and each link um, is labeled, which is really sweet. And you've got your mode button, which actually says mode and they're all engraved. Now, if you look at the actual colorway of the, of the titanium and how they're doing this, um, it's just, it's top notch. I mean, you're, you're not gonna get a whole lot of distributors, even in the Swiss industry, that are doing things with titanium the way that G-Shock is right now. And perhaps that is G-Shock's way of, you know, pushing into the upper echelon markets a little bit. I mean, obviously nobody in 1980 would have spent $1,500 on a titanium piece. Um, you can actually see the resin 
on the inside right there uh, in that little area, which is really, really cool. Tough solar, um, again, 200 meters water resistance. You've got your stopwatch, you've got your world timer, um, you've got your multi-band six. Please forgive me if I've already said that because I'm drooling over the watch, but this is actually my favorite part of the watch right here, where you start to see the difference in color, um, the diamond-like IP coating that they have on this. Like I said, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's unreal what they do. Um, and so let's get back to the conversation, right? Let's get back to the idea of, wait a minute, why would I spend that much on a G-Shock? Well, titanium doesn't come cheap. Does it have that much of a markup on it? Well, it each is in the eye of the beholder, right? Uh, some people would look at a steel Rolex and say, well, I'm just buying a $9,000 steel Rolex for the name of it and for the symbol. Uh, with this particular timepiece for those fanboys that love G-Shock, that love what they represent, uh, the durability, you can wear this with a suit, in my opinion. You can wear this at a wedding. You can wear this to work. Um, and then somebody like me who, if you guys look at a previous video, I did a video on a Longines um, chronograph. I actually traded that in for this uh, and one other watch. So I got two for the price of one and I will end up doing a review on the other piece as well. Um, it wasn't that I didn't like the Longines. It's just for someone like me who um, works in an industry I work with, um, students and the reality is is that my hands get dirty i bang my watches up against things and i simply just don't want to have to worry that when i wear something that's a beautiful timepiece it's going to fracture or break and cost me almost as much as the watch itself so if we look at the inside of the box i did forget to show you guys that it is really really cool um, it says here, shock resist, 20 bar water resist, tough solar, multi-band six. Oh, and the one piece I did forget, this is a smartphone link. It connects directly to your phone and uh, it's just an all around great watch. Guys, if you like this video, if you wanna see more videos, please like, subscribe to the channel if you have questions. Um, occasionally, I will review a watch that I am in the process of selling. Um, so you are welcome to message me if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch the videos. This is Justin with Justin Time Watches, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.